long has this been going on? We don't have to explain ourselves to you. Oh, Jenna. You stood there and told me you hadn't heard from her. You could see the state I was in. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. I asked him not to tell you. Why? Do you like torturing me? Oh, don't be so melodramatic. Have I been such a rotten mother to you that I deserve this? Oh, here comes the self-pity. Oh, cut her some slack. Oh, look, I've got to go. I'm due back. That's there. right, run away. Right, you asked, I'll answer. You're a rotten mother, yes. Uh, yeah, d d don't talk to her. And don't you start acting like my dad. You haven't earned it yet. A good mother doesn't lie to her daughter. Doesn't make her feel like a whole life's been a total sham. But it hasn't! I've answered your questions, and now I'm going. Please, just wait a minute! Look, um... Why don't we go for a walk? Talk things through. There's nothing to talk through. I'm Ruby's dad. I should be on a birth certificate. End of. Maybe if you'd acted a bit more reasonably, I you wouldn't are. have had to do it. Don't you blame this on me. Look, I'm not going to argue with you. If you want me to go, fine. But I'm taking Ruby with me. You can't force me to stay I'm with you. I'm not forcing you. You've got a choice. I hope you choose us. I need to be on my own. I want to clear my head. You doing? I may as well take Ruby with me. Yeah, right. And I won't see either of you for dust. I don't be She stays here. What? Are you just Legally, making... she's mine, remember? I'm doing this for us, Tyrone. I love you. So, what did Dr. Carter say? That it was probably nothing to worry about. He's right, you know. Most lumps are benign. Yeah, it doesn't stop you worrying, does it? Have mm. you told Jason? Maria, why not? Because... I don't know, it's just... Some blokes can be a bit squeamish about stuff like that, can't they? Yeah, but Jason's solid and I think he'd probably want to know. I've only been going out five minutes. He's moving in with you. Yeah, only because he sold his flat. Well, I'd hoped it was for a bit more than that. Yeah, of course it is. It... I don't know, Marcus. I just need to be able to get my head around it without worrying about what he's thinking. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that... No, no, you didn't. I wasn't even going to tell you, but... I just happened to be here. Yeah, sorry. No, don't be daft. I'm glad you did. Look, then we better get going. Yeah. Look, you don't have to come with me, you know. Of course I do, and anyway, it's non-negotiable. OK? Come on. Look, I know I should have told you. I was just worried she'd stop seeing me. Oh, so as long as you're fine. I mean, I've just brought her up for the last 28 years. I was going to work on her. Get her to understand you've done nothing wrong. You do realise she's only seeing you to get back at me. She's trying to rub my nose in it. So if you think you've made some great breakthrough, forget it. I know my daughter. Oh, you're probably right. She's playing me along. I mean, why would she give a damn about some middle-aged bloke she's never even met before? <laughs> you really care about her, don't you? Of course I do. She's my daughter. I mean... <laughs> Just saying that word gives me goosebumps. I can't get my head round it. I didn't mean what I said before. I was just trying to hurt you. <sighs> I can't blame you for that. And anyway, you're probably right. No. Jenna might be pig-headed, but she's totally honest. What you see is what you get. And I'm glad if things are working out between you. Thanks. I just wish it didn't mean I had to lose that. No, don't say that. You haven't. Look, maybe if I back off a bit... Oh, too late for that. Look, I'm sorry. Everything I do just seems to make things worse. In the end, it's up to her. Nothing either of us can do now. Hey. I'll see myself out. M Mandy, I'm sorry, you know. I didn't mean for this to happen. Hi. Right. What's happened? Ty. I'm going to lose Ruby. Have uh, you decided where you might go yet? Canada, America? Hello. No, the States, definitely, and maybe New York. Oh, you must be so excited. Do you want something? Oh, we've, we've just come to choose a card. For my mother, it's her birthday. Yes, well, they're over there. Help yourself. <laughs> New York, eh? <laughs> oh, I can just see us now. What us? Uh, you. You. I, I, I meant you. You know, you were strolling through Central Park. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Where? I always fancied myself as Audrey Hepburn. Oh. Me too! <laughs> I think you'll find I have the stronger resemblance. <laughs> Just a pity there's no George Peppard to go there with me. Ah. What about this one? 
Uh, yeah, lovely. Well, there are, there are other male companions you could take along. Of course. But would they appreciate the spirit of the place? Mm -hmm. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I've always hated that song. Yes, me too. It's awful. You could always try California. Oh, yeah, that's where Sylvie is in Palm Springs. She loves it there. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to stay there. Oh, he's Missy Looper, we think. No, I am not. I, I think Mary would prefer somewhere less intimacy. Well, actually, I, I, I quite fancy sashaying down the Walk of Fame. <laughs> On the other hand, there's nothing wrong with a bit of glamour. <laughs> well, wherever you decide to go, we hope you have a lovely yeah. time. Absolutely, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, some people are very generous, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are, aren't they? <laughs> I can't believe she'd stoop so low. She reckons she's doing it because she loves me. You are. So we have to stay together. I said, you can't force me to stay with you. Exactly. That little Ruby, eh? Father unknown. Makes it sound like she was the result of some one-night stand. Right, listen. If she's fighting dirty, then so can you. How do you mean? I'm going to ring my solicitor. You know, the one that helped me in my court case. He's brilliant, Tyrone. And he used to be in family law, so if anyone can help us, he can. So a few years ago, she was, what, 12? Now, would you reckon, six? Probably. Mm. I mean, I thought she looked gorgeous before, didn't you? Mm. Why do women insist on starving themselves? And it's not just celebs, either, is it? Sorry. I'm prattling on. Oh, look, I'm sorry. No, you're only trying to take my mind off it. That chance, eh? I'm glad you're here, though. Maria Connor. Do you want me to come with you? Yeah, would you? Yeah, of course. I see. Yeah. Right, well, thanks for that. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, bye. Well? Looks like Kirsty's right. If your name is not on the certificate, you don't have any parental rights. Well, that's not fair. I know. But you can apply for parental responsibility. That would give you rights, but it still won't get your name on the birth certificate. Well, that's not on. I still officially won't be a dad. No, I know, but listen, you could apply for a declaration of parentage, and if the court grants it to you, then you can get a new certificate with your name on it. Oh, brilliant, we'll do that then. But they have to do a DNA test. Fine, let them. And they have to get Kirsty's permission. What? Well, she's never going to grant that. I know. If she even gets wind of what I'm trying to do, she'll be on the next plane out of here. I'll never see Ruby again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ty. I was sure there must be something you could do. At least you tried. She is a cruel, heartless cow. you best get off to work. Yeah. We'll speak later, though, yeah? small lump so you were right to see a doctor and um, what I'd like to do now is organize an ultrasound scan and then we'll take a small sample of cells to examine to see if it's cancer yes but don't worry in the vast majority of cases it isn't see it'll be very quick and you'll get the results at the end of the day really hmm. well that's good I thought I'd have to wait weeks any questions no okay I'll go and get that sorted out you OK? Yeah. Yeah, I feel better now that something's being done, you know, rather than just sat at home worrying about it. Yeah, that's the spirit. Hey, it's going to be fine, OK? It's not good. It's not good. have you been? I've been walking around. Thinking about what you said. I can't believe you'd be so devious. You made a decision? Fine. You can stay. It's the right decision. Well, you didn't give me much option, did you? No, but you won't regret it, I promise. Until next time you lose your temper. 
I'll change it. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. No, I will. I'll try really hard this time. Good. Because I can't carry on being your punch bag. Don't say that. Well, it's true. That's what I am. I don't mean to do it. I just think I get stir crazy being on my own with Ruby all day while you're out living a life. I feel like I'm not important anymore. Like nothing I do counts for anything. And you come home and I suppose I'll take it out on you. I know I shouldn't. Well, what if you go back to work and I stay home? How'd it go then? Well, it was going really well until Mandy arrived. And then it all went downhill rapidly. Mm. Didn't manage to make the peace then? I don't think Mandy saw me as a peacemaker, no. More as a liar and a backstabber. Oh, never mind. There's always another day. Is there, though? I'm beginning to wish I never bumped into Mandy. What? I never found out that you had a daughter? You don't mean that. No, I don't, but I just wish it came without all this stress. Oh, welcome to family life, cos that's what it is, 90% of the time. Great. But was I talking to the wall this morning? Either you want to be a dad or you don't, and if you do, then you've got to start acting like one and sort things out. Yeah, how, though? I'm a mum, not a dad, and I'm sure you'll work something out. There we do go. Do you good to get out of the house? Be around people? Get some independence back? I don't know. We said we wanted to fix things. This is one way I can help. Well, maybe you could uh, take it in turns and both work part-time. I can't see Rob and Michelle going for that, can you? But it's easy for me. I could just be a sleeping partner for a bit. I suppose. I'd miss her, though. Were well, you to her on nights? And lunch times? You'd have all the cuddles and none of the nappy changing. Put it like that. You're not just suggesting it because you don't trust me with her. I'm suggesting it because something has to change. I can't live like we was before. All right. I'll give it a go. You know, I bet she's not even ill. I bet she's just getting back at me for having a go at her about Rita. I'll give it a rest, will ya? Oh, yeah? Sorry if you've come for your nails doing you too late. I've got to go and pick Max up. Uh, well, uh, give me these when you do. Oh, they are well cool. Have you seen these? They must have cost a fortune. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, you shouldn't have. You'll think you can ask for anything now. It's a one-off, I promise. They'll be made up. Thanks, Nick. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Do you want another coffee? No, I'll tell her I'm floating. Me too. It's like I've lived here all my life. Yeah. Maybe we should build an extension. Mm. Stop all these people wandering in a little. Oh, I don't know. Gives us something to look at. Maria, would you like to come this way? Hey, what are you doing here? Start back tomorrow. So I'm getting me pie in the bar. You are. <laughs> but what about the baby? Bored of that, giving her away. Tyrone's going to be a stay-at-home dad. You are? We like to do things the modern way. You lucky beggar. Ah, oh, I've missed you all. Anyway, better get back. Let Daddy have his me time. See you later. See ya. See ya. <laughs> right, well, we've got your test results, but, um... I'm afraid they're a little inconclusive. How do you mean? Well, the sample that we took from the fine needle aspiration hasn't shown us the results we'd expect. Usually, it would match up with the scan, but in this case, it doesn't. Right. It's probably nothing to worry about, but we'd like to do a core biopsy. Take a closer look, just to make sure everything's all right. It's similar to the procedure you've just had done, but this time we'll examine the tissue rather than just the cells. Is that all right? Yeah. Will it hurt? It'll be a bit sore. Have you started moving your stuff in yet? Well, I was going to, but then Maria won't have it. What do you mean? She said she stuff lying about. She's not one of them tidiness freaks, is she? I hope not, otherwise they'll not last two minutes. Uh, Mum, <laughs> I can be tidy. Really? Oh, I wish you told me. I wouldn't have needed to clear up after you. Did uh, Maria get herself sorted? Well, I don't know, do I? She's not answering a text. What's that about? 
You two are all right, aren't you? Yeah, fine. What are you doing tonight? Me? I'm going into town with Marcus. Going to try this new bistro that's open, if he ever gets here. Oh, that'll be him now. Oh. I'm on my way. Don't believe it. What? Well, he's only gone and cancelled. No. Well, stuff him. You up for it? Eh? This bistro. Only I booked it now. Oh, no, I'm all right, folks. Cheers. I am, cos, um, Paul's working tonight. OK. You're on. Well, I oh, suppose right. we could tag along then, yeah? No, sorry, mate. Just a table for two. Ah! <laughs> Where are them two off to? Romantic meal for two. What? Carly said you'd be here. Been to the house, have you? You've been doing this time delivering a new dress for me wife. I upset you. I didn't mean to. It should be me who's buying stuff for Max, all right? Not you. No, I just wanted to... You just wanted to help. I know you did. But we're not your charity case, thank you very much. I just wanted to treat my nephew. Nothing wrong in that, is there? I'm allowed to be an uncle. Yeah, I suppose so. Just try something less flashy next time, like get him a bag of sweets or something, <laughs> you know? Point taken. I'm a forgiven. Yeah, go on. Good. Get you another half? I'll make it a pint, seeing as all you're buying. <laughs> all right. What a bit. I don't know how to cope on my own all day. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, Ty, I know it's not easy having a little one, but you can't keep dipping in and out like this. I know. Which is why I've made the decision I'm taking a year off. Very funny. No, I mean it. Kirsty's going back to work. I'm staying at home to look after Ruby. <laughs> Are you mad? Loads of blokes do it. Yeah, and what about our business? I've thought that through and I won't expect to be paid, obviously. Oh, well, that's good of you. So you can use the money to get another mechanic. I'd just expect my usual share of the profits each month. What do you think? <laughs> what do I think? I think you can forget it, that's what. You're not dumping me in it just so you can play happy families. And you can't tell me what to do. I'm your partner, not your employer. No, no, no. You own 30%, that's all. I'm still your boss. Oh, right. Now it's all coming out, what you really think of our so-called partnership. Oh, you're the one not taking it seriously. I'm putting my family first, that's all. It doesn't make sense. You earn loads more than her. So? I don't have to explain myself to you. I've told you what's happening, that's that. Like it or lump it. So, have, 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 have you decided who you're taking, then? If I was to take anyone, Norris, it would be you, of course. Huh? Really? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that, but, but thank you, Mary. You're welcome. And I've finally decided on the destination. Yeah. California. Oh, that wouldn't have been my first choice. Still, it is your prize, I suppose. So. It is, isn't it? Mine to do with as I like. Absolutely. <laughs> have you posted that card yet? Oh, no, we, we thought we'd send it with a present. Her exceedingly heavy present. Okay, it's a brass paperweight in the shape of an S. <laughs> which will cost a fortune to send, more than the cost of the paperweight, I imagine, which itself was grossly overpriced. Oh, well, never mind. You'll be able to give it to her yourself. I'm sorry. You're going to Palm Springs. <laughs> I want you to have my tickets. Oh, but we couldn't possibly. Oh, but I insist. No, Harry's right. It's, it's a very generous offer, but we, we can't. Well, of course you can't. Well, you'll be doing me a huge favour, you see. I'm, I'm fine in the motorhome, but when it comes to planes, well, I'm not the best of travellers. Really? Yeah. Last time I flew, they had to make an emergency landing on account of my screaming. <laughs> Mother was mortified. We're only going up to Inverness. Couldn't you sell them? I'm allowed to give, but not sell. It, it, it says so in the rules. <laughs> so please, take them. I'd feel a lot better, and and it could be my little birthday present to Sylvia. I don't know. Oh, just imagine her face when she sees you both. I suppose. Oh, I'm one of your shoe, I am. Uh, very kind. It's just so lovely of you. Thank you, Mary. Oh, well, you've done me a good turn. I'm, I'm just doing the same in return. Oh, well, well, the least we can do is get you a drink, and then the usual. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. You're not scared of flying. You told me you jetted halfway round the world when you were younger. And if you ever tell them that, I will never forgive you. But why? Because they're wonderful people and I owe them. And <gasps> that's the end of it. <sighs> what are you doing here? What's it look like? I'm ravaging your brother. Well, can you go and ravage him round at yours? Can't. Craig's got his mates round. All right, we'll go and find some alleyway then. Hey, 
What do you think I am? You all right, sis? Yeah, she's fine. It's just been a long day, that's all. Come on, huh? we'll go to the pub. I don't see why you live here too. See ya. See ya. Should make us a brew. Hey, hey, hey. Because what if I have got cancer? What about Liam? He's already lost his dad. Hey, come on, you're getting way ahead of yourself here. Why did they do that second biopsy then? They were just being careful. She said you've got nothing to worry about. No. No, she said it was probably nothing to worry about. You know as well as me that it could be. Now listen to me. If it is, then they've caught it early, which means there's a really good chance it can be cured, OK? Whatever the outcome, I'm going to be here for you. All the way. While I'm there, shall I get a bottle of wine to celebrate? Yeah, OK. So it's true, then? You're staying with her? Yeah. But you can't let her blackmail you like that. I've got no option, have I? I'm not losing another kid. You're crazy! All right, so you might have your daughter, but at what cost? And I take it it was her idea to give up your job? No. It was mine, actually. Oh, well, then you are mad. Can't you see, Tyrone? She's taking everything away from you. Your friends, your dignity, now your freedom. Well, I don't care. I'm doing this for Ruby. It's my job to protect her. And how will you protect her when you end up in hospital, eh? What good will you be to her then? Look, I've made my decision. So just back off, OK? Tyrone, what a time he's having. So we'll be back in Weatherfield on Wednesday evening at 7.30. Monroe is back next for a new series, and with it comes a new boss for the neurosurgeon. And this new boss isn't the easiest person to get along with, or is it just simply a personality clash between two individuals? We'll see right after the break. <laughs>